Okay, so today we are going to do a llama. Hold on, let me turn both lights on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw first in pencil, that way if we make any mistakes, we can erase. Then we're going to outline in crayon. Um, and the reason why is because we're gonna be using this technique called crayon resist, which is pretty cool. Um, basically the paint will not paint over crayon because uh, crayons are made of wax and wax and water don't like each other. So they repel is what the scientific word is. So basically when the paint, which is water-based, tries to cover up the wax crayon, the wax crayon is like, no, you're not sticking to me. So you can still see all of the crayon. So like the purple, the pink outline, um, the little orange of the bedroll, all of that's done in crayon. And I just paint right over it and it doesn't cover it up. It only covers up the white paper, if that makes sense. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? But first I want you to do it in pencil because it's kind of a tricky shape. We're gonna go to the middle of our paper and start with like a rounded rectangle. Um, or oval, I guess, but it's a little rectangular. It's, it's kind of got straight, straighter sides, okay? But rounded corners. Um, then, once we do that, we're gonna come up and do the neck. And curve it around. Once we have the neck, we're gonna do the head, which is kind of like an oval meets a triangle, kind of. I don't like that shape. If you don't like it, just keep drawing until you get a shape that you do like. And then erase what you don't like. I like to do, have multiple lines down because if I erase first, chances are I'm gonna redraw exactly what I just drew. So I like to draw until I get it right and then I erase. Once we have, see how it's kind of like a strawberry shape. And then I'm gonna do an ear here and then you're here. The eye's gonna be kind of stylized. We're gonna see. And then it's got like a little hairdo there. And I think there's actually maybe horns on a llama. We're gonna go with it. I could be wrong, but we're gonna draw little horns. All right, then we go down to the legs. The legs are gonna start off bigger, right where they meet the body, and then get thinner. I'm not really sure what llama feet look like, but we're gonna put hooves, like horses. I could be wrong, we're just gonna go with it. This one's gonna kick out a little forward. So the one in the back is forward, which means the one in the back on the far side of the back leg has to be forward too. So the back leg's a little different. The back leg actually starts up here and it's got what's called like haunches, like the, the meat of basically what your like thigh muscle meeting your like bottom, all right? So it's this big muscle and then curves in and then goes straight down. I'm gonna erase the line of the body so that we see that. All right, and there's just like a little tiny tail, like that. Once we have that, we're gonna do our little stylized saddle. It's just a half circle, and then I'm gonna do another half circle inside of it. And another half circle, and another half circle. Each of these is gonna be a different color. Okay, now we've got our little bed rolls. His llamas help carry stuff up mountains for people. 
So a lot of times they'll put like all of their heavy packages or things that they're carrying on the llama. So we're gonna do three, three rolls. And then the one on top is like a spiral as if we're seeing it. Sorry about that guys. All right. The last thing we're gonna do is add the reins and the tassels. Just do little lines and then the tassels are like triangles. And then three or four little dots. Okay, now for the reins. It's gonna go over the mouth Root down and come around. We're gonna have it where it looks like it's kind of wrapped around a few times. I'm gonna erase this little line here from the body meeting the neck. And I did little palm circles. On the reins. So now that we have our llama, we need to put our llama somewhere. So we're, I'm going to do a hill. So the background line is going to go at an angle. Instead of straight across, he's walking up a hill. All right. And then in the background, I've got a snow capped mountain. Now once I do that, I'm going to take my crayons and outline, and you can do any colors you want. Um, the llama, I'm going to outline in yellow. So everything that's on the, every shape of, on the outside of the llama gets outlined in yellow. Okay, I'm not going to actually make you guys sit through me doing all of this. Then you pick a color for your eyes, you pick a color for your bed rolls, you pick a color... Um, for the saddle, each of those get outlined. Do not color them in, just outline. Now the things I do want you to color in, the little palms, do those in crayon. Um, the tassels, do those in crayon. The spiral of the bedroll, do that in crayon. Don't color it in, just do the spiral part. Um, every single thing, the ear gets outlined, everything gets outlined. Then um, outline the mountain in the color you want the mountain, outline the grass in the color you want the grass. Okay, and then stop. We're not actually gonna color anything in. Once we have it all outlined in crayon, we're going to go back and paint in and over what we've done in crayon, if that makes sense. 